And one Sunday morning, I happened to walk my dog outside, and we just see this little fur ball. Then immediately, my dad instincts just kicked in. I knew if I didn't do anything, he was gonna die. When I found him, he barely fit on the palm of my hand. He was so tiny. I went straight to the pet store, ended up walking away with like $300, $500 worth of stuff. From what I was told, he was only two weeks. There was a bunch of stray cats in our neighborhood. He was the runt of the litter, and he was left behind. He wasn't scared at all. He was completely happy that he was found. I really became his mom. <laughs> He was so interested in everything. He was so curious about everything. Hey, Leo. Thank you for your help. He was hungry all the time. I tried to schedule it with my meals. We'd have breakfast together, we'd have lunch together. We did everything together. What a great dad. I could not leave him alone, so I just had to take him everywhere. I had him in the backpack. He loves it. Back home safe. If it's not in the backpack, it's on my shoulder. I took him to work with me. See, you see that my desk. He went to all my meetings. He was just happy to be around. Everyone in the gym was pumped. I would do pull-ups with him. I would have him on my stomach or on my lap while I'm bench pressing. He would actually do some of the exercises with me. It was both a combination of he just wanted to be involved and, oh, this is playtime. He's still on my shoulder. He still does that to this day. He's the big boy <laughs> and he still acts like a kid. He's so cute. Leo is really affectionate. Whenever you sit down, he will hop on your lap. He wants a connection. He's really adventurous and he has a super bubbly personality. I think his curiosity really feeds into his adventurous side. I take him anywhere from hikes to beaches. I found Leo at a really stressful moment in my life. I was really going through this low self esteem and depression state. When I found Leo, everything changed for me. He became my emotional support animal. Unofficially, he really was there for me. He knew when I was sad. He did not leave my side. While I was taking care of him, he was teaching me how to take care of myself. He was teaching me how to love myself. It meant the world to me that he was there for me and he just wanted me to be happy. He really changed my life. When I needed someone the most, he was there for me. And I was there for him. <laughs>